Hey guys, it's Liam here. Um, I just wanted to talk about how Google April fooled us this year. There's many April Fool's jokes from Google this year. Um, but let's, um, yeah. Let's take a look at them. First we have closing the YouTube concept, contest competition. Um, now this, um, uh, YouTube began in 2005. It's a contest to find the best video in the world. And now it's finally time to pick the winner, the YouTube blog announced. And then here's the video. YouTube's ready to select the winner. I'm not going to play it because um, it'll take up a lot of time. And there's a lot of April Fool's jokes that they played on us this year. So, yeah. Tonight at midnight, YouTube.com will no longer, longer be accepting entries, said Tom Liston, competition director at YouTube, said in the video um, above, which features many stars from a viral video. And it was posted hours before officially became April 1st in the U.S. After eight amazing years, it is finally time to review everything that has been uploaded to our site and begin the process of selecting winner. The video warned to watch everything before YouTube deleted it. Make sure to check back in 2023 when YouTube returns online and you'll see the best video winner and nothing else. Watch the nominee announcement at April at, um, April 1st at 9 a.m. Um, Pacific Time, as YouTube promises to announce all the nominees for 12 hours every day over the next two years here. Google no, Google knows knows. Smell the fear or the waffles. Um, that's the topic. Um, ever been searching Google and wanted to know what something smells like, what other searchers are sniffing for? I wanted to share an aroma via Google Plus. Well, take a whiff from Google's aroma base. It's whopping 15, um, I don't know what that is. I'll just say 15 M plus scent bites collected by street sense vehicles and Android ambient odor detection. And then there's a video about Google Nose that I'm not going to play, obviously. Um, does Google Nose have the smell of success? Sweet, you decide. And then here's all the aromas. I'm not going to say them all because there's a ton. And they go pretty far down. Alright. Google cold searches. This is the topic. Um, you've heard of Google hot searches. Now meet cold searches. Yes, all the anti-trending searches that only a few hundred people are searching for. Whether it's Y2K or do my legs look fat or is it just that my jeans are too high. Macarena step by step, or even what it means when you get a text when you text a girl good night, but she doesn't answer. Google will show you some of the least popular searches U.S. and today only. Google treasure maps. Yar. Google has introduced treasure mode to Google Maps. The goal is to solve a mystery involving a treasure map that once belonged to an infamous pirate, Captain Kidd. The map lets you explore 2D landmarks as you explore for hidden treasures, treasure chests. And as Google warns, treasure maps is our beta maps technology has a certain system require and has certain system requirements. Your system may not be able to display at higher resolutions than paper print. Take care when unfolding the map to avoid ripping it. And then there's a video about Google treasure maps. <clears throat> All right. Gmail blue. Celebrating its ninth anniversary today, Gmail is going blue. According to the Gmail blog, um, according to the Gmail blog, and only one of the statements in that previous sentence is true. Um, <coughs> um, okay. And then there's a picture of Gmail blue. It's Gmail, only bluer. Why? Because brown was a disaster. Bold is blue. Underline is blue. Italics is blue as well. Your message composes it in blue. Can you believe you've waited? Um, this long for this? There's a video right there about Gmail Blue. <coughs> Google Analytics reports 41 visitors from the International Space Station. <sighs> Check the real-time section of Google Analytics lately? You should. You just might have 41 active visitors on your site from the International Space Station control room. There's a picture. If you click on that city and then traffic sources on the continent, you'll get a special April Fool's message. There's a picture of the special April Fool's message. 
Google Analytics also unveiled some new export and send features, which you'll probably never want to take advantage of. Actions export 3.5 floppy, CD-ROM, Papyrus, and Sticky Note. Send Carrier Pigeon, Fax, Telegram, or Telegraph. Um, Google Mobile ATM. After you've used Google Notes to get a whiff of that sweet aroma of a dollar bill, you remember cotton and linen covered in dirt, um, sweet and greed. You may be saying, hey, I want some of that. We'll meet Google Wallet ATM. Need cash fast? Why go to the bank or ATM ever again now that you can own this brilliant smartphone attachment? Simply enter your PIN and Google Wallet mobile ATM will let you withdraw everything from $1 bills to $2 bills or even $50 bills. Oh, and if your mobile ATM is running low on funds, a self-driving armored hybrid vehicle will be alerted and dispatched to your location, arriving within minutes to quickly and safely refill their ATM. Extreme Makeover Google Schmick Edition. For those in Australia who want to turn the house into virtual artwork on Street View, Google has unveiled Google Schmick. The simple, complete house makeover and internet conversion kit. Um, forgot to mow the nature strip? Deck it out with some fresh buffalo grass. Front steps falling down? Swap them out for Doric columns and uh, pergola. Graffiti on the front fence? Cover it with so many palm trees, people will think they're on a Vegas trip. Reads the blog post. Reads the blog post. Check out this amazing renovation courtesy of Schmick. Watch this. So... Um, so that, just that normal house, becomes this. Ugh, jeez. Becomes this. Now try it out for yourself here. Google's Add Emotion button. Sometimes and then you got a picture there. Sometimes, apparently, your face doesn't tell the whole story. Sometimes you need an emotion, emoticon, whether you're feeling a little happy or not so happy. Google's Add Emotion button now has you covered. We will plumb the emotional depths of everyone in the photo, then summarize their feelings with a beautifully crafted emotion icon, reads the Google Plus post. Click on the button again to return to the original version of the photo. We hope you enjoy using the feature and we look forward to seeing your emotionally charged posts. Google Apps Levity Algorithm. Ever wanted to make an email subject more fun? You know, maybe turn a subject line like HR Memo into the new hotness but didn't know how to do it? Or optimize a presentation into something more eye and ear catching? Now there's a Google app for that. Um, created in partnership with legendary improv comedians from Chicago Second City Communications, the Levity algorithm is carefully tuned to help you spice up even the most boring um, of work days, reads the Google Enterprise blog post. Send happier emails, hold more engaging meetings, write more mind-blowing presentations, all and above all, turn those frowns upside down. Slippy turn on the levity in your Google Calendar will be packed with fun events such as chat with T. Fay, drinks with S. Colbert, or morning pool party and massages. And there's a video about the levity algorithm. It's a beautiful day in the fiberhood. <coughs> in the fiberhood. Utility poles are about to become a lot more useful. Maybe for maybe. For some, especially hackers, they may become a second home. Unless people start camping out 24-7 at sp spontaneous hackathons. Google has a solution for those so-called so pole hoggers. We've heard this can be a problem and we are working on ways to detect the pole hoggers. Our institute at a two-hour ban for their use every two hours they use. According to the Google Fiber to the pole site, um, until we pr perfect our pole digging detector technology, we ask that users do not stay for more than two hours when others are waiting. If this is a problem, please call the fiber space and ask for a fiber ch chaperone to come to your poll and explain proper poll etiquette. There's a video about introducing Google Fiber to the poll. Um, Bing introduces Bing Basic. 
new SEO tag. Google isn't the only search engine in with April Fool's an um, antics. Bing has introduced Bing Basic and the SEO tag. Aside from being an obvious shot at Google, what is Bing Basic? As the blog post explains, um, it's a special test, special test that discourages exploration, discovery, and with a blend of 1997 dial-up sensibility. So if you go to Bing's homepage and type in Google, you'll see this. Hover over the color boxes and Bing will give you the following in the the following messages along with a link to related Bing search images search results. Having trouble seeing this picture of an Arctic fox eating a marshmallow in, on a, in a snowstorm? Links to Arctic fox. When there's nothing else to look at, links to watching paint dry. Um, if blank space is your thing, links to plain white paper. With so many delicious flavors available, M most people still choose vanilla. Links to the Bing It All On pa page. Click on the I'm Feeling Confused button. You'll be taken back to an ex explanatory blog post. As for the SEO tag, Bing's post um, explains that you can now take control of your search rankings. With two pieces of code, you can either tell Bing what position you want your site to appear in, or simply rank one spot higher than your competitor. They are those. Upon launch, we'll only recognize most bef must be before tag, but beginning on April 1st, 2014, you'll be able to stack up to 50 of them in your um, code to offer greater coverage for your site, says Bing. Wolfram Alpha's handwritten knowledge engine. In introducing Wolfram Alpha's handwritten knowledge engine. The only handwritten knowledge engine has a team um, that have a, has a team of real humans ready to transcribe and illustrate your queries. A warning from Wolfram Alpha. I definitely cannot recommend running your homework through Wolfram Alpha, printing out the handwritten results, and trying to pass them on as your own. Definitely not. Um, act fast before everyone gets hand cramps and calls it an April Fool's Day. Probably right around midnight. And here's Wolfram Alpha. Right here. Twitter puts a premium on vowels. Want to use your vowels in your tweets? It'll cost five dollars. Twitter's new um, TWTTR service has er has arrived. Um, Twitter. So. You can't use, basically, it's saying that you can't use vowels in your tweets anymore unless you pay $5. Consonants are still free, and Twitter, Twitter promises Y will remain free today and forever. Um, additionally, Twitter has expanded from 140 to 141 characters, but the price of that extra character is based on a bidding system reflecting the popularity of the character you would like to add. We're doing this because we believe by eliminating vowels will encourage more efficient and dense form of communication. It's a blog post. We also see an opportunity to v diversify our revenue stream. And, and then here's Barack Obama for Mr. Yours. And right there. And then we got a bunch of funny stuff on there. What's your favorite spoof? Okay, so that's all the stuff. That Twitter, Bing, and Google and YouTube did for April Fools. So thanks for watching, guys, and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.